No, you do not throw this. You do not push me. This is the most prestigious and opponent championship there is. The hard core championship. And this is no change land, but this is the most important, the most bravest, the most boldest, and the goodest channel there is. This is the People WWE channel. So right now, you tell all of your friends, you spread the word, you get your voice heard, and you tell everyone you know. I want to see those comments coming in. I want to see those, I want to see every single one of you commenting. And of course, of course, share this video, smash that bell, turn in every single one of my notifications on. Check out every single one of my other videos. Check out that description. And me on Facebook, Ricky JP. Speaking of Facebook, always go and view, like. WWA World Wrestling Alliance. Follow me on Twitter at RickTheRock30. Check out my blog. You know you want to do that. And forever and always, for those two shoutouts, you like and subscribe. That again, like and subscribe for two shoutouts. We'll say two final times. You like and subscribe for two shoutouts. For not one, but you two shoutouts. You like and you subscribe. This is going to be a two-part video, it's a two-part review with your host, the greatest <laughs> hardcore champion that ever lived the face of hardcore. And in fact, I'm now two-time hardcore champion. Just like a thing, and I've re re received a message because I'm so damn popular. Maybe as asking, can someone like and subscribe? So just hold on one second. Let me deal with that. And it was they say, can I like? Can I subscribe? And how do I do it? Um. So before I get into our reviews, I do want to say, has anybody seen the brand new trailer for? Um, Jumanji in the next level, so Jumanji 3. I have it, does look pretty good, does look pretty awesome. I will be going to the cinema to watch that. But we'll kick things off with the PCW A Night for Lionheart review. Before we get into that, I did put some things up, so I'll show you them. So they did have a uh, bring them by stall and all this for, for nine quid so really really good um a smash wrestling super short during dvd i did not watch that this last night i thought it was really really good um a wrath figure or brian clark or adam bomb you might know him as this i think is really cool a remus to your pin badge um a little Kevin Nash figure. And these are very, very small, but still I think are cool. A tiny John Cena figure. The Undertaker. And um, I presume this is Roman Reigns. Doesn't look much like him, but I presume that's who it is. And this, which I can't wait to read, nobody said it's good, is a Chris Jericho book. Um, I have read one, perhaps two, but definitely one book of his before. I can't wait to read this. But on with the review, and it, before, before we get started, I do want to say it was a good night. Um, did feel like the PC to be old, seeing old fans, old faces, uh, even the raffle itself, which... I think normally cheapens PCW a little bit. You know, the prizes were, were, were good. It was 20, 20 then th uh, 30 and then 50 pounds to spend on the merchandise stand. So I think that was good. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So we kicked off with, we kicked, in fact, we kicked off with a dark match and it was for the Cruiserweight Championship. It was Dave Birch defending against Shady Natrus. 
this was an okay match here. Good that we did get a dark match, but no shock here. Come out the winner still holding on to his title is Dave Birch. With it and like speaking of those faces, Joanna Rose and Richard Parker were back. So good to see them. Not sure where, where, where Glamour was, but there you go. We kicked off the show, the main show, with um, Stephen Flooder opening up the show. Then we had then had Matthew Brooks singing a song for Lionheart, then a 10 bell salute. Uh, so it was a very emotional, but a very good night. And we kicked off a huge way with a fatal four match for the PCW Championship. Uh, now, Shigler Sham was meant to be in this match, but he did get injured because he, so he did get replaced because he's injured. So it was. Joey Hayes versus Big T Justin versus Yester Reese versus Tail Bannum. Fatal for reaction for the PCW Gold. This was a good match. Um, and no show Hickey 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 here. Walking out is still the man, still that man, Joey Hayes. Um, it was then singles action and all these, all the winners will later meet, meet later on in the night. Um, so yeah, all, all meeting of Halo 4 in March, we kicked off with CJ Banks facing his opponent, NXT UK's El Leguero in a first round match, so great to see El Leguero back at PCW, this was a good match, um, and shocker here, CJ Banks picking up that win, next up it was Joe Henry versus another man from NXT UK, Kenny Williams in a first round match. Uh, this was a, an, another good match. Joe Henry was face, normally his heel. I don't think there were many heels on this night. I don't think we think it was about that. It was obviously more about Lionheart. Uh, but another good match. Good to see Kenny there and Joey Hay Henry got his hand raised high. Next up in a third first round match, it was Sam Bailey going to versus one on one against East Sha Samuels. Uh, this was a good match and great to see Shah back. Uh, yeah, I do like Sam Bailey's gimmick. This, again, another good match. And no shock here that Shah Samuels got the one, two, three. Next up in your fourth and final first round match, it was a very quick match. It was Danny Hope taking on the champion, Joey Hayes. Uh, this was a very quick, quick match over the Narcio and a one, two, three victory for Joe. Joe uh, Joey Hayes, sorry, um, and then all these advancing to the final. Next up was the interval, and after the interval, it was a battle royal match for the hashtag Boom Championship. So great to see the hashtag Boom title back again. Felt like the PCW of old, uh, and of course your winner was Dave Rain, and still holding, holding on to his title. But then there was an auction for the hashtag, hashtag Boom Championship, uh, and an actual fan paid. £310 for the hashtag boot title, which, you know, cool, they've got the rum belt, uh, and all that money obviously goes to laying out his parents, the funeral fund, and then that fan actually beat Dave Rain to become champion, so that must have been really awesome, he's actually champion, um, yeah, that was cool, next up was tag team action, it was Ashton Smith from NXT UK, and Jolly Sterling, Sterling, interracial love, you now they meant to be taking on team single, but Timo wasn't there for family emergencies, so it was Rampage and Sugar Dunkinson. This was a good match. Great to see Rampage back. Great to see Charlie Sterling and Ashton Smith back. Um, and getting their victory was Rampage and Sugar Dunkinson. And then in your main event, in a fatal four-way, second fatal four-way that night, elimination match, it was Charles Samuels, CJ Banks, Joe Henry and Joey Hayes. CJ Banks was out first. Joey Hayes was out second, thanks to Matthew Brooks. So they're really build, building up that feud. That feud been going for, since February. So it's down to Joey Hayes and Shah Samuels. on coming out with the win, winning the Lionheart Tournament Cup, the Memorial Cup, was Shah Samuels. So a good win for him there. Like I said, a good, good night. And I'm going to give this 8 out of 10. The next PCW event that I won't be going to is at the Academy. July 13th, it's PCW Open Ring Wars 2. Um, I'll be watching it on Facebook, and the reason I'm not going is Fight of the Fallen is on that night, and I do want to watch that on TV, which will bring me momentarily to the 
second part of this video, but do like and subscribe while I'm doing this. Like and subscribe. Because next up is the AEW's Fighter Fest review. So AEW second ever pay-per-view. I will start with the pre-show. Um, and I do want to say before I get things start, get starting things, this is how a pre-show should be done. Very, very little talking. Not telling you about the matches 20 times like WWE. I do enjoy the pre kickoff pre-shows for WWE, but this is how it should be done. So we kicked off with a triple threat match. It was best friends. It was private party. It was so-called uncensored. I'm not sure who private party are, but boy, are they a good tag team. Uh, this was a great match. A great way to kick off the pre-show. Uh, so-called uncensored are really, really good. Best friends are really good. Now we're giving private party to the win. Put them over. The fans then you know, couldn't know more about them. But coming out of the win were best friends. Next up was women's action. It was meant to be Kylie Ray one-on-one -on -one against Lever Bates. But it was Ali against Lever Bates. Lever Bates blue pants in WWE. And Ali, um, she was in Impact. This was a good match. Both good wrestlers. And Ali picking up her victory and she will now face Brandy Rose at the fight of the fallen so that's probably why she won and then in a hardcore match a lot of people are kind of not liking this but we'll get to it it was Alex Trebele in one-on-one -on -one singles action against Michael Knack at Azawa. don't know either guy um, <laughs> but yeah both pretty good um, and I thought this was funny a lot of people saying you know, this is the last match to make people buy the actual pay-per-view. But, you know, I suppose you need a bit of comedy on the night. But you know, still good to see a hardcore match. Don't really see many in WWE anymore. So actually, on to the main show. And we kicked off with singles action. It was Shima facing off against Christopher Daniels. Obviously, Christopher Daniels of Impact fame. Uh, Shima, I'm not sure who he is. Uh, but good to you know, see him in singles action. Uh, Chris McDaniel's just as good as he's always been. Uh, I'm picking up this victory with he is facing Kenny Omega at Fight for the Fallen. So this will be probably why he won was Shima. Next up was... Yes, it was Triple Threat Women's Action. It was Ri Ryu versus Nyla Rose versus Yuka Nakatazaki. Uh, even though... So much double or nothing. Still don't really know much about them. But I think they've all got time to shine in this match. All very good wrestlers. Um, now would have had Nyla come out as your winner. But coming out as your winner was Ryu. Next up was... Where are we? Uh... Yes, in Fatal 4 Way action, it was Hangman Adam Page versus Jungle Boy versus MGF versus Jimmy Havoc. So, Jim, uh, my first look at Jungle Boy, my first look at MGF, MGF on an actual pay per view, and great to see Jimmy Havoc there. Really happy for him. Uh, and kind of my first look at Adam Page in a proper match, not just a battle royal. Um, and coming with the win, no shock here, Bill Momentum heading into All Out. Adam Page. Next up was a great match here. It was Cody in a singles action against Darby Allen. Darby Allen, not sure who he is, but why, 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 why? Great wrestler. Uh, Cody proving just how good he is. That WWE really missed a trick here, C kind of with Tr Trent Beretta as well and Lever Bates. Uh, and I think possibly WWE could have picked, picked up MGF, but there you go. But this match had ended in a draw, a time limit draw. Um, I presume because they didn't want either guy looking weak. And I presume both guys, are, yeah, Cody has got a match at Fight with the Fallen. It's Cody and his bro brother Dustin Rhodes against the Young Bucks. And I presume Dobby Allen will be in a match at some point. Um, I think. Um, Kip Sabian was on commentary for this match. He said he'd face a winner of this match, so maybe it's going to be Dobby Allen with Kip Sabian. And yeah, Kip Sabian you know, has had a good portrait on the on commentary, but still. 
This was a good match, but I want to talk at the end of the match. Sean Spears from the United States, Ty Dillinger, that seems to be getting, you know, kind of getting freedom with his character, did smack, did hit uh, Cody Rhodes full on in the head with a steel chair, unprotected shot. Uh, now I'm 50 50 about this. It gets a lot of people talking, um, and they were kind of saying it wouldn't be PG. Well, obviously not. Um, but I do yeah, think it was quite dangerous. It did leave a massive hole in the back of Cody's head. But I would presume it's now going to be Cody versus Sean Spears at all out. Possibly with some stipulation. And I guess we'll find out why he did that. Next up in single in six-man tag team action, it was the Lucha Brothers and Laredo Kid. Don't know, not sure who he is. Taking on the Elite. So Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. <laughs> This was a good match. Great six-man tag team action. Probably match of the night. Um, fantastic, fantastic match. Great back and forth action. Many, many pinfalls. Um, but yeah, Lucha Brothers and Young are incredible tag teams. I want to say the best tag team in the world. They are the Hardy Boys. Wonderful. Delete. But yeah, great, great tag teams. I think WWE missed a trick by both, not picking up both these tag teams. But then I think the play would have been ruined in WWE, certainly on Raw's Smackdown. Uh, probably they could have been kept in NXT. I think, you know, they would have been absolutely fabulous, absolutely awesome on NXT TakeOver. But there you go. Great match here. And then match of the, match of the night that they said it wasn't the main event, but it really was. It was still part of the pay-per-view. It was John Moxley one-on-one -on -one in a non-sanctioned match and lights out match against Joey Janela. So my first time I've seen Joey Janela on an actual pay-per-view, I think in an actual match that's not live, that I've not seen him live. Uh, and obviously John Moxley's first ever match in AEW. And wow, this was an incredible match, incredible main event, incredible non-sanctioned match. Um, and, you know, they actually used that properly in WWE. It's a non sanctioned match, it's kind of just a normal match with a few weapons involved, and that's really it. But this was incredible, incredible main event. They fought all over the place. Lots of weapons involved. Lots of dangerous moves involved. Thumbtacks, tables, you name it, it was involved. Um, and yeah, again, probably up there with match of the night, definitely. Every match I thought was good, I enjoyed every single match. I know the H, talking comics. Sports and wrestling, I hope I've got that right. Did ask me what I enjoyed. Well, I enjoyed the entire pay-per-view, so there's your answer. Um, and then after the match, sorry, you know, coming out of that win and getting his first ever win in AEW was John Moxley. And I really think WWE had missed a trick by not using him properly. I give, and then after the match, Kenny Omega beat up John Moxley. It's going to be John Moxley versus Kenny Omega at Fight of the Fall, which I think will be an incredible match. He both, the guys are both really, really good. And I give this event 8 out of 10. Now, this doesn't mean I'm going to stop watching WWE, but I did really enjoy AEW and I will continue to watch them, as well as WWE. So we've got coming up, like I say, Fight of the Fall and then Extreme Rules, which hopefully will both be good events. Now, we're coming up to the 19-minute mark. Uh, so it's been a fairly long video, so thanks for watching, do like and subscribe, hope you enjoy Raw tonight, on Raw tonight it's going to be Bobby Lashley and Brawl's Woman in the Fall, can't really much, I really think they could have saved that till Extreme Rules, we play Will Abinick match at Extreme Rules, and the New Day versus the Viking Raiders, so the Viking Raiders are, Raiders are actually now getting pushed, which I think is good, um, not sure what's going to be happening on Smackdown, and I think more matches will be made for Extreme Rules, and hopefully, hopefully, the attendance will be better. And I also did see some empty seats at AEW, which was very surprising to me. Definitely for the second of a pay-per-view. Uh, so not sure why that was, was. Maybe no championship matches or they didn't promote it too well. Um, but thanks for watching. You like, you subscribe, get this share, tell everyone you know all the entire world about this video check out every single one of my other videos and last but not least like and subscribe because the face
of the Hardcore Division. Oh, what? Right.